All right, so in your fraction packet, please go to page five, where there are six word problems. So back to the other packet. So now we're getting down. Now we're getting down to the part where we we have the skill down. We know how to add and subtract fractions. Now we have to do some GED styled word problems. So let's look at number one together. One third of the class voted for pizza. One twentieth of the class voted for sushi. One fifth of the class voted for burgers. The rest of the class voted for ice cream. What fraction of the class voted for ice cream? <clears throat> one third of the class voted for pizza. Another 20th, one 20th voted for sushi. One fifth voted for burgers. And the rest voted for ice cream. How do we do this? Well, you're adding, we know that. So we know we're adding. So what do we add? Uh huh. One twentieth. Uh huh. One fifth. Uh huh. So when we're adding fractions. What's the first step we take? Lowest common denominator. So what's the lowest common denominator of three, twenty, and five? It's not twenty. Not twenty. Thirty. Not thirty, because twenty doesn't go evenly to thirty. 60. So now we're on step two. We're creating our new fraction. Five goes into 60 how many times? Probably uh, 12. 12. 12. 12 times 1 is 12. 20 goes into 60 how many times? 3 times. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 goes into 60 how many times? 20 times. 20 times 1 is 20. So 20 plus 3 is 23, plus 12 is 35, all over 60. Are we done? No. <coughs> we have to do step 4. What's step 4? Reduce. Reduce. So how do we reduce 35 sixtieths? 5. 5 times 5? 35 divided by 5 is? 6. Oh, 7. 7. 50 to, or 60 divided by 5 is 12. Okay? So 7 twelfths of the class, we're not done yet, right? Because now all we know is the people who wanted pizza, sushi, and burgers. But the question asks us how many voted for ice cream? So the rest. So if 7 twelfths voted for ice cream, or if 7 twelfths voted for the other thing, what fraction voted for ice cream? 5 twelfths. 5 twelfths, right? Because 5 plus 7 is what? 12. So 5 twelfths plus 7 twelfths is 12 twelfths, or 1, and you get the whole class, right? So if 7 twelfths voted for all the other things, then the remainder, or 1 minus 7 twelfths, 5 twelfths, make sense? So that'd be number 3. 